Well, here I have with me the latest offering from the Mahindra stable, the first electric vehicle of the Mahindra group, the XUV 400 EV. Now, this is a very exciting space. Mahindra will be competing with the likes of Tata Nexon and the MG EVs of the world. And the expected price is between 17 and 20 lakhs. Now, Mahindra hopes to garner a lion's share of the fast-growing electric vehicle SUV market. I had a test drive of this car and I must tell you, it does not disappoint. So, let's go. Sonia, welcome to Kandivali. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations on the launch of the new car. So you drove in into this uh, in this amazing new car. Huh? It is an absolutely <laughs> fabulous one, right? I mean, it's the first EV from Mahindra Stable. Yeah. And uh, I remember you had this launch about three months ago on EV Day. Yeah. And now finally bookings are going to open up Jan onwards. That's right. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? Good. Very excited, and uh, we'll start test drives and we'll announce the price uh, middle of Jan and start bookings towards the end of Jan. So should we yep, go ahead? let's go. Alright, let's go. Okay, we're ready to go for the drive. Let's go. It's a really powerful car, Rajesh. Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, so it's really, really fun to drive. It's smooth, it's noiseless. Yeah. And it goes from 0 to 100 left. Left in 8 seconds. 8.3 eh? is the exact number. 8.3 seconds. Yeah. Have you ever tried going from 0 to yeah, 100? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the biggest thing about EVs is the range anxiety, right? Yeah. This one doesn't give you that problem. I mean, it's what, 460 kilometers? Yeah, four, total range? 456, yeah. Okay. And what about charging infrastructure? If you charge at home versus charging it, say, outside, how does that work? Yeah, so basically, you'll be, most people who buy this right now will set up uh, a charging infra in their house or in their society, uh, which is what they'll probably need a couple of days a week at best. Uh, our dealerships will have charging infra, and now this charging infra is starting to come up uh, around, the country, but, uh, around the cities. But in the first phase, uh, people are going to people who are going to buy it are the ones who will have charging infra at home. Charging infra will come up very quickly. There are multiple people who are now offering that, and in fact, we uh, we will offer and you know through our app or which we call the Blue Sense app, uh, you can know which is your closest charging point from where you are. So these are your uh, drive modes. Okay. okay so what are the now, different drive modes? So now this is fast, okay. which is the mint. You were on fun. Okay, now you want to go on the furious? Yes, <laughs> it sounds very exciting. Okay, so that's your fearless mode. You see that fearless mode activated. So, so guys, we're so going now for just the fearless mode yeah. on the XUV 400 so just, just EV. Oh my god, this is fab. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to take this one on the highway by the way. Yeah, this will be absolutely fun. So now you have an open track, so go for it. Oh wow, this is powerful. Yeah, this is really peppy. Ooh. This is really peppy. And it's a pretty powerful battery as well, right? Yeah. How does it compare to the other players? So this is a 40 kilowatt hour uh, battery, um, which uh, is a good battery right now compared to what most people offer. And uh, one of our competitors has now recently launched the 40. Uh, so this is comparable to that, but the other very interesting thing about this car is uh, uh, This is now 4.2 meter vehicle. Okay. So if you look at the space, uh, this is the widest C-segment vehicle actually hmm. across ice and EV Okay, so Rajesh tell me a little bit about pricing uh, the reports are suggesting that it's in the 17 to 19 lakh range Are we right on that? Uh, I can't tell you whether you're right and because for one honest reason we've not yet finalized the price we're going to announce that sometime around mid-jan uh, of course we would want the pricing to be attractive 
and very competitive with what's in the marketplace today. So you have stated as an objective that you are looking to be in this slightly more premium EV space. But yeah. do you see a market for the lower, uh, you know, cost EVs as well? Do you think it's feasible for this entire range to play out in the low cost EV segment? And at any point, would Mahindra look to get into it? Yeah. So you know. Cost is one parameter in any buying decision. Uh, the one thing that we've been saying is, uh, let's be true to our brand and our brand DNA. And our brand DNA is about making authentic SUVs, uh, which are ad adventure capable ready, which offer a fun experience. And so we don't want to compromise on that as we say, you know, okay, now should we create a EV which is going to go into the fleets and which is more affordable. So we're not really, that's not our target audience or our target group. Okay, Rajesh, I must admit it was an absolutely pleasurable experience to drive the new car and I'm so thankful that you invited us or we invited ourselves for this opportunity. Thank you so much and I hope uh, Mahindra has a lot of success with this one. It's the first baby from the EV stable, so it's a special one, I'm sure. Yeah, it And is. you've been at the helm of it for very long now, so all the best. Yeah, thanks, Sonia, for being here and it's really, I'm glad you love the product and uh, I'm sure many of our consumers will as we start test drive soon.